yeah, it's definitely time to get some new shoes. Shoot. Being the number one skateboard shoe review channel in the world comes with a lot of requests for a lot of very expensive shoes. So if you have a shoe you want me to try, go ahead and drop it in the comments down below. But they pretty much range between 50 to 100 or even more dollars. And for this video, I wanted to try to do a shoe that's a little bit less than that. So this is going to be my first impressions on a $30 DC shoe that I got at Ross. Skated pretty good. If you've seen my videos before, then you already know, and if you're new here, this is the number one skateboard shoe review channel in the world. And if you've watched my shoe reviews before and haven't hit subscribe yet, like, what's good, bro? You really trying to test me right now? Because I'll just smash it, dude. Just smash that. Because I'm coming out with new videos every Monday, it seems like. So just Monday, Monday, Monday. Shoe review, shoe review, shoe review. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Why three times? I don't know. There's like a thing about it. Psychology. Anyways, these shoes cost me $30 at Ross. Do I know Ross? No. Obviously, Ross doesn't know me. I just wanted to go to the place that helps me dress for less. And of course, that's where I would get some pretty cool skate shoes. Or less. Of course, my standards for a shoe that's $30 is not going to be very high. So I was pretty surprised when I slipped my foot in there and it felt real nice and cozy. So they're pretty damn comfortable for just being $30. The second that I put them on and started rolling around, they had kind of a new shoe feel for like maybe like five minutes. But then after that, it pretty much feels like I've been skating them because they just immediately broke in. So if you like a shoe that breaks in quick, hey, cheap shoes is the way to go. Oh, that was going well for a second. Every time I was going to do the flick, it felt like I was rubbing a piece of paper off the edge of my board. So this leather upper that they're saying that it is, doesn't really feel like leather or grippy at all. It feels like I'm just slipping paper off the edge of my board every time I do the flip trick. So bad. Even if a shoe has flick that's not going to be super phenomenal and kind of feels like paper coming off the edge of the shoe, you will eventually get used to it and be able to skate it like any other skate shoe. Keep in mind, I've done less than 100 kickflips with these shoes and the stitches are already starting to rip and that leather is starting to turn into ass. So if you want a shoe that's gonna last a while, yeah, I didn't expect these two, so it's not gonna be these. Honestly, I think you have probably a solid month of skating these before they're completely unskatable. These shoes actually look pretty cool because they remind me of the shoes that I would see a lot when I was growing up skating like the 2000s era, where they weren't super crazy bulky, but they weren't really slim. They were kind of in the middle. So it's like, you're wearing a shoe with a little bit of bulk, but you ain't wearing no damn D3s. I wouldn't wear these on a date though. I'd probably wear some different shoes. Would you go out on a date with a dude that has shoes like these? Like these beautiful D3s that they don't skate well? No. There was some weird stuff going on with these because when I first got them, the grip on the bottom felt really slippery. But the more that I skated it, it started to feel more grippy. There was like a layer of crappy rubber. And then once you started to wear that off, it got to like good rubber. And then it was more grippy. The grip on these is actually quite grippy. Surprising. I really didn't have to jump down anything to be able to tell that these are not going to handle impact well. You should probably, I'm sorry, you should definitely put some insoles in here. If you find that you're kind of strapped for cash and you need some new skate shoes, then a $30 pair of skate shoes from Ross is really not so much of a bad bet because you probably will get used to them. They do perform well and I felt comfortable skating them. And I would just say, if you can, get some insoles put in there if you want to jump down stuff. But for the most part, you'll be totally fine skating ledges and flat ground and rails, all that fun stuff. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought about this review, what shoes you want me to review next. Definitely subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, follow the Instagram, links for insoles and a bunch of other stuff that is on Amazon that I find affiliate links for is down there. I hope that this helps you guys in figuring out, like, I don't want to get a cheap skate shoe because it's cheap. No, it costs less money, but you can still skate it and be totally fine. Ah, that's it. Shoe drop! Why does this keep happening? Wait, 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 hold up one second. Before you go ahead and take off and go watch some other video, go ahead and check out the rest of my channel because there's a bunch of videos, different shoes I reviewed in the past. And maybe there's a shoe that you want to know about on there. So make sure you subscribe because I'm coming out with new videos every week.
Cause we're just right around the nursery and count sheep